Buenas, Dick. Eh, acabamos de escuchar al entrenador del Racing de Santander decir que eh, el Castellón es el equipo que en más aprieto, no, al revés, que el Racing es el equipo que más aprietos le ha puesto al Club Deportivo Castellón en eh, esta eh, temporada. No sé si lo ves así o desde tu posición puedes hacer otra lectura. I think, uh, I think it's true. In the end, we lost. That's not good, but um, this is also when we need to cope against those teams who are very good. Uh, you also see how they are, how they play, what style they have. Um, for us, it's, it's, of course, it's difficult to lose, but also uh, it needs a lot of time. You know, uh, I don't want to protect the players or ourselves as a staff uh, because we lost today. But um, they play already longer in this league, so they are used to every week the pressure what they have, and this in this we need to grow. I also said last week. Um, I also said this in halftime last week when we struggled the first half um, and I even think during the whole game today we were even better in those things today. Um, of course we get some chances against us but we also get a lot of good chances so we also could score goals. Sí, Dick, eh, Tony Galindo para Radio Dortmund. Efectivamente, el Racing ha hecho ocasiones, pero es que ustedes han hecho muchísimas ocasiones y creo que solamente la actuación del portero del Racing ha evitado que el Castellón marque. Muchísimas ocasiones que ha generado su equipo y finalmente el gol ha llegado con una nueva errada en defensa y de penalti. Yes, it's really uh, not good how we defend there. Uh, it's also I think the second minute in the, in the second half. So uh, we didn't do their good decision. Um, and yes, uh, maybe the goalkeeper was good, but I also think we didn't shoot good on goal and made the decisions well. So it has to do a little bit with, with uh, both of them. But uh, what I said already in the press conference before the game is that uh, in this game you will see that there is, is, is one winner. Uh, it's a very good team, very good opponent in the way how they play. I also said that we were a very good team and play and we had both a lot of chances to, to win the game um, and I also think that we could win the game today. Eh, comentas que, eh, no sé si lo he entendido bien, ha dicho que se ha hecho mejor partido que en Almería la semana pasada, bueno, pasado, el pasado lunes. Entendemos que en lo único que no ha estado bien el Castellón es en el error del penalti y en la falta de definición. Es por esos motivos por los cuales el Castellón hoy no ha conseguido los tres puntos desde su perspectiva. No, I don't think the mistake is the fault that we lose. Um, we also made maybe one or two mistakes in the first half where, we, uh, where Gonzalo was good in, in saving the ball. Um, they also made a few uh, mistakes in the back where we could score goals. So I don't blame the, the penalty thing. It's just not smart in the way how you defend in the 18-yard in the box. Uh, you need to be smarter in that. It's also in a position where it's almost on the back line, so it's hard to score a goal from there. Um, I just think we did everything uh, to get a goal, uh, to try to win at home uh, with the people, the supporters. They, they kept on going to help us, so that, uh, that is very good. Um, we just need to keep on going. Um, this is what I probably try to say every week. Um, also, last week when we won the game, I tried to be calm, I tried to be Uh, realistic. Uh, I try to help the players to get the best out of them, to get a better team and to perform during the season better and better. Sí, bueno, está medio contestada lo que eh, lógicamente no se puede estar satisfecho cuando se ha perdido, pero en líneas generales está satisfecho con la actuación de sus jugadores. Um, of course, I'm not happy about the result. Uh, I think that is clear. We all want to win. I, I also see the players push themselves uh, to win. Um, it's. I don't want to say I'm proud of the players, but I'm very happy in the way how they behave, how they train, how they try to prepare the best way to try to win the game. Um, I also think that everybody can see that we always try to play for a win and that it is not like the case or oh, we were totally out of the game and we lost like uh, uh, because we had no chances because the opponent was far far better i think we just compete with very good teams and i think we need to improve and need to keep on going and in that way i'm satisfied with the players how they behave um, but yeah we also need to win games
Eh, sí, eh, el otro día en la rueda de prensa previa al partido comentabas que en algunos aspectos que tiene que mejorar el equipo está el reaccionar o saber reaccionar mejor a los golpes que encaja. Eh, ¿Cómo valoras eh, cómo ha reaccionado el Castellón después de esa diana encajada al comienzo de la segunda parte? ¿Crees que lo ha hecho de forma positiva más allá del resultado final? Sí, creo que lo hicieron bien después del gol, pero no fue bueno cómo salió y que nos dio la penalti a Um, but after that, I think we reacted good. We, I think we got uh, some chances with uh, Suero, Calatrava, uh, Flacus, um, De Miguel. Uh, so for me, uh, the reaction was good. Uh, we tried to play for the win, even if there is a lot of things to improve. Uh, we played a lot of times the long ball where we can maybe keep uh, the ball longer on the feet. Uh, we could play a lot of times the diagonal ball, what we talked about against them, because they press up high on the left or on the right, so you need to switch up play. Um, that sort of things uh, uh, I think we need to improve and we need to do better. Um, but overall, um, I think in that way we, we, um, we maybe improved not, but we kept, we kept on going. Hoy ha hecho debutar a David Flacus. Eh, valoración sobre lo que ha, sobre el rendimiento en, en el segundo tiempo cuando lo ha sacado. No, I, I think he came on uh, good. He uh, he has some threats uh, in behind. Um, he's strong. He's a hardworking player who tries to improve. Um, but also he he missed a lot of uh, weeks in training. So um, and then he left for two weeks to his country. So uh, with him, it's also step by step.